Luther said that the high point of the service is the preaching and Holy Communion. The act of communion is one of the most highly debated and in some respects confusing rituals in all of Christendom. Does the bread and wine physically transform into Jesus' body and blood? Is it merely a symbolic mimic of the actions of the Last Supper? Are the blood, wine, body, and bread all simultaneously present at the words of institution? There are many interpretations, but for us Lutherans, the belief is that we do not believe that our words transform the gifts, but rather that Christ's body and blood was given to us as a sacramental union at the moment of the great thanksgiving, the original one. His words of institution made it so that when we take communion, his body and blood are in, with, and under the bread and wine. The silence before the infraction or breaking of the bread reminds us of the solemnity of the moment. The physical action of the infraction, the breaking of the bread, symbolizes the body which Jesus gave for us. It is also a direct reflection of his directive at the Last Supper when he said, Do this in the remembrance of me. The lifting of the cup is another reminder that we should indeed remember Jesus' sacrifice.